Hey everybody, welcome back, and today is kind of a bittersweet episode. We're, we're up in the office because the first intro we filmed down in the garage, whatever, camera fail. But today, it's good stuff. First off, we're going to strip down a very good running go-kart to make room for our solid axle, which is all good news. The sad part is, it's a pretty good running go-kart, and it's a lot of fun, hate to take it apart. But, it's all part of progress. So thanks for coming in, following along, new people, welcome, welcome, and let me show you what the axle looks like. And what we have here is our solid axle kit from Epic Drifts. Now, piece by piece, there's a one inch axle, all the keyways, their own branded bearing support, and cassettes, and the cassettes are real nice. Thick metal, stuff like that, not some cheap China. Hoo-ha. The rear hub supports for the rear wheels. Okay, with studs, the rear brake. Now it didn't come with the rear brake caliper. This came from Go Power Sports. And then here's the rear brake disc. Real nice, all CNC stuff. That's why I bought this kit. There's a little more money than most of them, but it's all American made and it's not, uh, you know, thin Chinese metal. They give you a sprocket that comes with a chain guard. I don't want to go down that far in gearing, so I ordered a 54 tooth two piece for it, which should suit my needs perfectly as far as speed, what I'm looking for. So that's the pieces of the kit that we're gonna install on the cart. Is that all our budget modifications that we did to this cart? And if you remember this cart, this was just a throwaway piece, um, basically a freebie that we stripped down you know, painted and we've been putting parts on part by part, kind of at a budget build series. But the way it sits right now, it's a hell of a lot of fun. It really does nice for what it is. You know, we built some steering, we got the bigger hub, bigger front tires, we painted the whole thing. It's got electric start. It's got the uh, first phase of engine mods to the Tolis and 212. And we got our big slick mounted tires on the back. But again, you can see this is just, it's a one wheel peel. So what we're going to do today is we're going to break down this whole cart, take off our engines, our rear wheels, our battery, electronics, take the seat out of it, take everything apart so we can fabricate and set up our solid rear axle. So we'll put the camera on the stand and we'll get this one taken apart. All right, now that we have the cart torn down as far as we need to go, let me show you what I'm thinking. For this live axle, we're gonna go above the frame. Now, what that'll do, of course, it'll lower the back of the cart. Oh, maybe two inches, which will be fine. We'll have plenty of sprocket and tire clearance. And then we took some pieces of angle. We extended our frame out on both sides. This way we can, we have a flat surface to mount our bearing carriers on. And of course we'll score this all up and make sure it's level, all that kind of good stuff. But also I purchased these gussets, these 90 degree gussets. So say like when we go to attach our new frame parts to our old frame, you know, we can square it off and we can make this frame extension very, very solid. We won't have to worry about any flex or breakage or anything like that. Then we know we'll leave that much for the gusset and cut off our old axles. You know, about here and about here and about here. Give me plenty of room for tire clearance. Let me uh, kind of show you what it'll look like with the tires on. And wham, see, this is what I'm talking about. Look at how cool that's gonna be. Super wide, and again, we can adjust. We don't have to have the rear tires that far out, but I think it's pretty cool. And again, it's gonna lower the back of the cart about eh, 
inch and a half or so, because these tall tires are a little taller than the others. Maybe two inches. But look at that. How cool is that gonna be? So, all right, everybody, thanks. It's hot, I'm gonna get to work. Thanks for watching. New people, thanks for hanging around. Don't forget to do all this stuff on the bottom that you're supposed to do. Questions, comments, concerns, anything you need in the comments. And we'll talk to you later. Thanks.